friends and if you're new welcome to you i'm elizabeth and in this video today we are going to be putting up a tree in our dining room and it's actually going right in between these windows right here right in the center it's going to be the focal point of the whole dining room we have a beautiful tree from balsam hill to unbox and to put up so i'm excited to show you that they also sent over just a load of amazing ornaments and they're very classic traditional but they're just all so special and very vintage looking to me so this is going to be like the santa mugs um space and just all the vintage looking ornaments the reds and the greens very traditional very classic but also very vintage well why don't we start by decorating the fireplace mantle this is what it looked like before i had Still my fall decor up with a little bit of Thanksgiving, which I'm actually still going to leave in somewhat and try to incorporate that. I'm really, like I said, going for a very nostalgic, vintage Christmas in the dining room. I really want you to feel like you have stepped back in time to that place when maybe you went to your grandmother's house for Christmas and all of the old vintage ornaments were on the tree and maybe there was a record playing you know there were cute little Santa figurines and Santa mugs that's kind of my vision for this room and I think I pulled it off and I can't wait to show you um, of course there'll be a big reveal at the end I'm going to start by attaching some of these cord bundler command strips. I use these on my mantle in the living room. If you haven't seen that video, I'll be linking that for you in a card above or down below in a link. But these are just going to help secure our garland to our flat surface here. I don't really want to put a bunch of nails and stuff in these antique mantles. So this works great. I don't have to worry about any permanent damage. It's going to hold very securely for me. I will try and link these down in the description below. They've been great so far this year. Uh, definitely coming in handy. somehow wasn't filming any of the beaded garland but I just started with this one here which are these gorgeous glass beaded garland from Balsam Hill in beautiful traditional colors so I started up here I looped it down and around back up and then back down this way and then on top of that I used this garland also from Balsam Hill and I love the vintage look of this with a little bit of tinsel on there and again these are just gorgeous glass ornaments so these were placed a little bit of an opposite swag and then I just mirrored what I did on this side over on this side and I really haven't anchored anything in with command strips or anything at this point they're very very lightweight so they seem to be holding up in there really nicely but I think that looks so pretty and festive and I will give you a close-up look so here's where I started this garland here. I knew I wanted some to hang kind of low down on the side since my garland wasn't long enough to drape down, but I just brought it up and around and then up to the center and I actually looped it inside of my command strip here, my cord bundler. So that's secured in the center there. And then we just brought it back up around and it's just sitting over top of that corner and it's being held on by the garland. And then the next one, I think this is my favorite one. That one I actually started in, in the center swag here. And then I looped it down through and behind back up around and then I kind of just twisted the end around the other garland and I did the exact same thing on the other side. So those should be on there pretty good. 
let's look at this from a distance. I haven't shown you the whole room with the tree yet because um, I'm gonna pop that footage in next of us decorating the tree and then this will kind of make a little bit more sense. I have so many gorgeous ornaments to share with you today. I took a little peek at them and I'm just blown away. The quality is amazing and they're all so beautiful. And we are gonna pack this tree full of ornaments. I want it to glisten and shimmer and shine. Um, this is this is going to be the room that's just got the tree that's dripping in ornaments and garland and we're going to have you know Christmas morning breakfast in here and dinner and maybe even Thanksgiving in here so I really want this room to just be wow and I'm excited I'm really really excited and so let's get started What I liked about this Sanibel spruce is the branches looked very kind of wispy. So I thought that would be perfect to hang a lot of ornaments on. It looks so realistic. That's what I love about balsam hill trees. They look like you plucked them right out of the forest. Really doesn't need much fluffing, which is amazing. Look at all these amazing branches to hang ornaments off of. This is, that's why I wanted this tree because I knew it would be really nice for hanging ornaments off of. So show them that we did raise it up a little bit. <laughs> I probably should have gotten an eight foot tree, but I was worried that it was gonna be too wide for this space. So that's why I went with the seven foot, but I probably should have done eight. But we raised it up, so now it's not too wide. But yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, I can't believe how fluffed it already was, just literally, shape was amazing, right out of the box. The color is so pretty. <laughs> and almost this whole tree is the real touch needles. All right, so I got this, I thrifted this a couple months ago, and I'm gonna put this down at the bottom here to hide bottom of the tree since we raised it up. Gaze upon the sky, Christmas on my mind, somewhere from a place up high above. There's a song of love traveling. Somewhere 
from a place up high above. There's a special star shining from afar, seeking us to warm up every heart. To be Okay, now it's time we move on to this table and get this set for the holidays. We're going to remove all of this beautiful fall decor that I've had up for quite a long time now. And we're going to make it just very festive, very nostalgic. I'm actually hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I really do want to make the table uh, feel very inviting and charming. And here you see me creating some structure or some support for the greenery that I'm going to use as my centerpiece. I just found this ribbon at Hobby Lobby and it's just going to kind of help catch all my little picks and stems that I'm about to pop in this vintage tin that I thrifted recently. So let's pull all this together and I'm kind of winging it as I go but it does turn out really cute I think. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with how this evergreen centerpiece turned out, but it does need some color. So I thought, why not take some candy canes that I already had and kind of hang them on the branches, just like you would see on, you know, your grandmother's Christmas tree. Bright lights keep the warmth up through the cold night. 
toys Let the children play with gifts and dreidels Share these moments with my loved ones I can see the light reflecting in their eyes Welcome to the first of nights Celebrate a miracle It's a light that carries on and I will try to save the light. Don't forget to light the candles every night a new beginning full of joy and filled with singing. There is food and wine around the table. Celebrating that it's not too late to try Welcome to the first of night Celebrate a miracle Well, I thought I had the table all set and complete in the way that I wanted it, but then I went to the thrift store and I found these beautiful vintage holiday plates and I knew, of course, I had to put them on the table. So I'm just getting them washed up. And then we are going to use these. And I also got some cute napkins and napkin holders. And a few vintage salt and pepper shakers. So we're going to add a few more elements to the table. And then we're going to move on to my baker's rack area. And we're going to fill that with Santa mugs. And I'm also going to be restyling the area above and around the baker's rack. So still more to come. Forget to light the candles. Every night a new beginning full of joy and filled with singing. There is food and wine around the table. Celebrating that it's not too late to try Welcome to the first of night Celebrate a miracle Ooh, This is how I feel inside It's a light that can
done by now. Seems we're running late. Let's put the food on the table fast as we're able. Guests start coming at eight. When we're caught in the Christmas rush, it's so easy to lose touch with the true meaning of things and what really matters. Just look up. Down to see what's hidden beneath the Christmas tree. Look, but not touch. They're told when we're caught in the Christmas rush, it's so easy to lose. When everything is white. Glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night. It's Christmas, a winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy in the air, families near. Give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all. From big to small, warm laughter and white smiles, my presents stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. 